Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Do you have a nice full belly? Did Daddy give you breakfast? Yeah? Did you eat it all? Did you? You did? Yeah. Oh. Do you want to say something? Do you want to say mum, 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 mum? Is that what you get no, excited about? No, she wants to say da, 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 da. Do you want to say mum, 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 mum? No, it's da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Mum, 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 mum. That was from this morning, right before Eric had to go to work. Olivia is at her most active first thing in the morning, and um, she's she's really starting to teach herself how to make different sounds, and, and uh, she can she can shake the rattle more, and uh, she, she has a lot of fun doing it. <gasps> you shaking the rattle? You shaking the rattle? Really? Really? You shaking the rattle? <laughs> but uh, today we are going to get a little deep on you. I wanted to show you guys uh, some things that, that are real special to me. About two and a half, three years ago, um, I started getting this, uh, this love for trees. Um, don't know where it came from, but uh, it, just, it just dawned on me. It was probably something to have to do with, uh, it, it's something that you can that you can do, a little something that you can do that uh, that lasts longer than you, if that makes any sense. Um, <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. The first one is this little guy right here. It may be small, but that is a lilac bush. And the reason why that one is special is because that came from the house that I grew up in. Um, my dad and I last year went, went back to the property and it was this huge lilac bush. Um, that that was there with me all through my life uh, that I lived in that house for 18 years and um, I went back with my dad and we dug up that little sapling and uh, I came back and planted it here. Um, lilacs are, are get a beautiful flowers on it that are really fragrant and my hope is that one day I can bring Olivia back here and we can dig up a sapling from here and plant it at her house. You know, it's in the future, but hey, we'll see what happens. Now this tree right here is a maple. It's kind of small, but this is about two years old. And there's one up front that I'll show you in a bit that, that I planted the same time as this. Here is the second maple. I planted this one in the front yard, got it tied down because the first year, the uh, I kept picking off the limbs because I wanted to get as tall as possible before I uh, let it grow and now this year I'm letting it grow from the top but that's going to be a really really cool tree whenever it gets mature. I actually got those seeds at, as seeds from Erica's dad up in Michigan. Um, they had this huge maple in their front yard and I, I took a couple seeds and planted them and uh, those are the two trees that I got from it. So like I said it's, it's something that, that I know that that tree will outlast me, um, which is it's pretty deep, I know. Now I am by no means a tree hugger, per se, um, because we have cut down plenty of trees in this backyard, uh, as you can see here. We cut down one, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So as you can see, um, we did cut down more than we planted, but uh, <laughs> we gotta have our fire somehow. We have this uh, this now battered fire pit that, that we got whenever we built the house. Uh, my parents gave that to us as a housewarming present and we've got so much use out of it. But uh, there's our little covered wood pile and then there is our huge wood pile there. We love having fires in the backyard. Uh, lots of good friends and good conversations. Lots of good times too. You know what I'm saying. This is a magnolia tree that I uh, transplanted from a sapling in the backyard. If you know anything about magnolias, they get these beautiful, huge white flowers on them. Um, they're really cool. They, they get big, big, big trees. So that, that guy's probably just about a year, two years old. 
I also got some of these lilies as bulbs from our neighbor down the street that get really beautiful flowers on them. This is the best $12.95 that we ever spent. We got this tree on clearance at, uh, at Lowe's. Um, I think it is, I forget the name of it, but uh, it gets really cool flowers on it. And finally, this is our crepe myrtle. Uh, if you know anything about trimming crepe myrtles, um, you got to keep them cut back every fall or else they'll, they'll look like theirs. Not many people in our neighborhood uh, keep good care of their trees and yards, um, which is disappointing because it's, it, it, it's your property. I mean, it's your value. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's really important to, to, to take care of your property and, and teach your kids about taking care of their property. Okay, so that is a quick tour of our trees and um, hopefully some good life lessons can come of it um, teaching Olivia in the future. Uh oh, it's time to go. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with a video of Olivia telling me a story. Thanks for watching. What do you got to tell me? Really? I know. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then what happened? I love your stories. <laughs>